Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing good. Um, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do today. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I think I'd probably take a nap at some point, maybe play some video games, because there's not really much for me to do. And that, and I'm still thinking about what I want to do. Um, I got my notebook out just in case I feel like uh, I should probably work on my web design course because, um, well, I got some free time today. Um, I don't know what I'm doing later tonight. Um, I'm probably just going to stay home today and rest and not like that, but I need to save the gas in my car because I'm literally um, broke. Broke as a joke right now. And uh, I can't really do much of anything. I've got just enough food and uh, just enough gas to get me until I get paid again so I gotta uh, I gotta make everything last as long as I can and um, just wait until you know I get paid again and then I can have more freedom I can buy food and afford to go places and um, yeah I don't know what I'm doing, talking about I'm rambling but um yeah I think I'm just going to stay home today. I'm trying to stay warm. I got the heat down just to save money on that. I'm trying to save money on the electric. I only put the light on so I could do it, so I could film. Um, but I'm trying to use as little electricity as possible. Um, then trying to keep my apartment at a decent temperature so I'm not like freezing to death. But um, I don't want it to be, you know, too low either. It sucks being broke. <laughs> That's why I need to get some kind of a part-time job. Um, I really, really need to get a part-time job um, that fits in with my schedule. And I got to. Uh, I'm probably gonna call my counselor today and talk to her about um, going less, just so it saves me. It, that would save me money all the way around because it would save me on gas. It would save me on time. You know, uh, two pretty valuable things right there. And that I don't have, you know, um, much of. Uh, so I think I'm going to give my counselor a call today and see how she feels about that. Um, hopefully she'll be okay with it, but because I, I just, it's getting to the point where I can't afford it. And, um, yeah, especially because the way I had to get my Medicaid back, I had to uh, make a, put money into a pooled trust just so I could have my Medicaid. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'll probably be back later though. Um, I'm just rambling right now. I'm just, I don't know. I'm out of it today. Um, I might just go back to sleep for in a little bit or whatever. I don't know what the hell to do. Uh, my furnace is turning on again. Uh, I have to wait to finish recording because this furnace is too loud. So this is going to be another really bad video. Just so you know. I'll be back later. Hey everybody, just checking back in um, because I'm bored and uh, I don't know what to do. So I figured I'd make another video, which I'll probably keep doing throughout the day. Um, just because I got nothing to do. And I'm planning on, like I said, staying home tonight. Um, I really need to save the uh, whatever gas I have in my car left. I gotta save it. Um, I'm running low on food too, so I gotta really... Um, you know, make things last until I get paid again, which sucks. Um, but I think I might just try and, I gotta try and do something so I can stay awake. I mean, it all, I don't know, um, you know, work out or something like that at home. I don't know. I got these resistance bands I bought. I never used them. I should probably use them. Um, it's not really much for me to do. Um, I don't really feel like I can, like I said, go back to sleep. It's just, but I, I'm getting tired of sitting here not doing anything. But I can't go do anything because I don't have any money to do anything. It was like nothing for me to do. Um, and I don't want to go anywhere really if I don't have to. Um, so I can save my gas. So I'm just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place again. Um, like usual, that's like how my whole life is. Um, but yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to figure out what else I can make videos about too because these are probably getting boring with me just rambling into the camera um, I don't know I got a lot on my plate right now and I think I'm overwhelming myself um, 
still trying to figure out what I want to do with myself too for as far as my future goes. Um, um, so yeah, I um, I don't know, I just got a lot of thinking to do today. I think today's a good day for me to sit there and sit here and really um, figure out what I want to do with myself. Um, I got the time, I've got plenty of time to think. Um, I, I gotta try and do something here. I mean, if it's taking finishing that class online, or if it's you know putting everything into the jujitsu, or if it's uh, you know moving somewhere for acting, it's like I got really uh, some really big decisions to make. But that's why I stayed here because you know for a while I was thinking you know you can kind of be an actor or have a profession like that if you're on YouTube, you know and. YouTube gives you this great outlet for, you know, for you to do, you know, stuff like that. And, um, so I don't know. I don't know. I just got a lot of thinking to do. And, um, I guess I'll be back later because I'm going to go and do some thinking. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for now. So I'll check back in soon. I'll see you guys later. Hey, everyone, just checking back in. Um. I just got a phone call from my cardiologist to remind me about my um, stress echo tomorrow, which hopefully it goes well. Um, I've had EKGs before, but they, the one I had most recently came back and it was kind of off, so that's why they want me to go for a stress echo. Plus, um, I th I've said it before, but um, they said my, uh, my left ventricle may be deviated in my heart. Um, and that's another reason why I'm going to get this test done, just to check and make sure everything's the way it should be. Um, otherwise, you know, I don't know what will happen after that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm waiting for now is to hear back. Um, well, i got to go get tested tomorrow before I hear, hear back. But um, my test is tomorrow at 9.45 in the morning. So, um, hopefully that goes well. I mean, between that... And having a low white blood cell count because of my medication, like that's another reason why I, I don't want to be on be on meds to begin with, is because like my my white blood cell count, like it'll drop, but it won't drop enough to where they say it's like something you should be worrying about. But you know, it's and, and, and sorry, in combination with you know the white blood cell count dropping, um, having to go for these EKGs. And, you know, just, I don't know, I don't think it's, like, worth going to counseling anymore because it's just costing me more money and it's making me worry. Because, I mean, having a low white blood cell count is, it can be very serious. And, you know, mine, mine fluctuates and they say, oh, some people's, you know, uh, white blood cell count is like that. It just fluctuates and I'm like, you know, it's not something I want to be worrying about. I mean, if I get an infection, it could kill me if my white blood cell count's low. I don't want to worry about that. So, um, I'm going to end up calling my counselor soon and, um, talking to her. Then I might wait till tomorrow. I have to go in tomorrow, um, for what? I'll have to get my, my Abilify shot tomorrow. See, that's the thing, though, is if I stop going to counseling, I can't get my medication anymore. So, again, rocking a hard place, but, um. Yeah, I don't know. I see a break from things, um, but it's, it's good. I'm. It's good for me to um, get all this out, though. Like from in these vlogs, um, because you know, keeping it inside is just it's making me crazy. Like my, I'm like really stressed out today, just because of everything that's going on, and hoping that there's nothing wrong tomorrow when I go for that stress echo. Um, because, you know, if there's something wrong with my heart, I mean, that's pretty serious, obviously. Um, and like I said, between having the deviated left ventricle and having a low white blood cell count every other week, or however much time it's been since, like, I get my blood taken, I have to get my blood taken more than they said I would have to, too, just because of um, my white blood cell count dropping. So... I don't know. I think I'm just going to try and relax today and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just want things to, uh, I just want some good news for once, you know? 
like something good news from my doctors, it's like, oh, your white blood cell count's dropped. Oh, it's okay now. Now it's dropped. It's like, it, and the thing is, is if the medicine's helping me, um, you know, then I then I don't know, really don't know what to do because I I'd already said to my counselor that I don't want to be on the medication if it's gonna keep happening. Um, so I actually think I might call. I, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel like dealing with it right now, honestly. It's still bothering me. It's still in the back of my mind. But, um, I don't know. I'm rambling. So I'm going to, um, let's see what time it is. Um, I'm going to probably play PlayStation or something like that. I need, I need to get out of my own head. I need to, like, just get lost into something so I don't keep thinking about, you know, all this stuff like the stress echo and the white blood cell count bull crap and you know the medication and you know just there's too much going on at once um so yeah i think that's that's it for now i'll probably come back later today and make another video because i'll be home all day i'm not going anywhere so uh i will uh i will be back soon